You know, I don't think that these mesa biomes are ever going to get old. Like, like, just look at this. Look at this scenery. It's so nice looking. I still need to find one of these in survival, though. All right, welcome, everybody, to uh, this episode. Um, I don't really know how I should intro this because this is a, this is a very different episode than, uh, than most. Um, today, I'm going to be showing you all how to do... Uh, these little creations I found on Instagram actually because there's so many cool little uh, Instagram pages that have like all kinds of little just building techniques and styles and they're so cool like they're sometimes they're the most simple things yet you never you never even thought of it all right well that being said let's just uh, get into it oh and one more thing um, all the links to each one of these posts will be down in the description and I think the way it works is that um, each post that I'm going to link in the description, I think they got these builds, or at least some of them did, from other builders and featured them on their page. So if you want to find who actually built it, go onto that page and hopefully they left uh, credit in the description for that. All right, so our first one is this little dude um, holding this like log. I thought this was such a cool little build because it's just like, I just love statues in Minecraft, especially little small ones like this. I mean, like it does kind of look like his torso is a little short, but still though, like look look how cool this thing is. Like imagine a imagine having a little castle, and you have one uh, one of these guys here and another one over here, and you got like a grand staircase in the middle. Like that'd be the coolest thing ever. And um and also they had like four different other um like models of this there i think there was one like lifting like a stone pallet and like there was a trident one like there's so many possibilities with these now one thing i did have to do is the picture on instagram was taken at about it was taken at like this angle so i couldn't really see the um this foot right here so this i kind of just uh i just guessed on and i, I think I think I did a decent job, but uh, but y'all y'all are gonna have to tell me how I did because I don't know it also kind of looks like he just broke his ankle, so just let me know. All right, and for number two we have this little well, and I mean it's it's a very compact little well. Oh, don't don't get a sneak peek of the other ones. Um, and it, you can see oh you know I just realized I didn't put water. Uh, give me one sec. Okay. So there we go. But the reason I like this little well is because it's so realistic. No, this, this is not happening. All right, so that's been taken care of. Uh, ignore the diamond sword in my inventory. Um, okay, so the reason I like this well is because it's so compact and small, yet the person who built it was able to like add so much detail into it. Like It really looks like proportional and everything. Like this looks like the little uh, the little pulley that normally reaches down with a bucket and gets the the, the water down from the bottom of the the well, and then it I think this is supposed to be like the extra rope that you use to pull it up, so like like come on now that that's just fire, and then um one more thing is I actually did the roof a little different, um the way they had the roof is it, they had like hay bales, uh, one here, one here, and one here. And then they had uh, power rails going up and over. And I'm on uh, Bedrock Edition. And so you can't place rails on top of uh, the, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, trap doors. You can't, you can't place the rails on the trap doors. So I actually had to make it like this. I thought this, this flowed too. And so, I mean... It's, it's not exactly how they did it, but I mean, it's, it's, it's close enough. And yes, I do realize Java Edition Minecraft is better. But some of us don't have a gaming PC yet, so, uh, so y'all gonna have to wait for that content. Alright, so for the next one, we're gonna head into the nether real quick. So, it's, it's actually behind me right now, but let's say this is our little, uh, a little nether hub. And we can have our pathways, you know, and whatnot for travel and um and i i don't know what we're doing here but uh th this is just how it is 
But let's say you're chilling in here and something happens and this uh, this nether portal breaks and you're stuck in here. You have nobody else on the world and what are you going to do? Well, thanks to this person, you have your little emergency uh, break in clay. Oh, oh, uh, uh, break in case of emergency. And so I can just, I can just destroy this glass right here, grab my flint and steel and relight it. And no worries. I'm not stranded in the nether for the rest of inter eternity. And the thing I like about the emergency flint and steel is it's one of those things that's just a small little detail that you might not ever even use, but it's, it's like when somebody comes on your world, they're going to look right at that and just start talking about it. Like it's just a, it's just a cool little feature. All right. And next we've got these, uh, these wall patterns. So, um, basically this one is a circle orientation, which when I first did this, I was like, Whoa, this, this is cool. Like imagine putting this in a big wall with your little statue over there. And like, that would, that would be so sick. But, um, but yeah, this one, basically what I did is I put a stair here, upside down stair and in a square formation like that. And then, uh, behind it, I put a block with a space above and these are the same dimensions, except this one is just an empty block and this one is made up of stairs and you can just kind of like go around the whole way and make this little circle shape. Now, um, I believe on Java, there won't be these little, these little lighting glitches. I don't know if you see that and it flows so much better, but it still looks cool on better condition for sure. And uh, if you want a simple technique to build this, uh, start off with just like a, a big, I guess, uh, XY plane. <laughs> and th that's like this, the simple structure for it. You can see it comes down here and it comes across. And then in the middle, you'll just leave three blocks and three blocks. So just destroy that block that block, that block, and that block. And that's already getting you that shape. So now you just have to fill in this little section right here with uh, a stairs in the square formation. And the same thing all the way around. And once I built this one, I thought it was so cool. I had to mess around a little bit and I just came up with one other design. And the only thing I did differently is I filled in this block and destroyed this block. Build in this block, destroy this block. And it's, it just makes it like kind of an oval almost. But, well, I don't know if I'd say an oval, but, but it looks cool. All right, and then finally we have our last one. Now this one, I'm, I'm hoping y'all thought it was as cool as I did, but I could definitely see how you don't. This one was actually involved in a bed design, but I, I turned it into a shelf because there was one feature I liked about it the most. And that was this little guy. It it looks like a little uh a little statue almost, like a little figurine that you would have on your shelf. And and it I I just love that. That that's just so sick. And um basically all you do to build this is you get your wall. And so let's say this was my uh you know my house wall. I would let's pretend these are bookshelves. Oh okay, actually. Would you look at that? <laughs> um, I get my bookshelf here. Actually, no, I wouldn't place it here. I'd place my bookshelf here. And then I have a sticky piston, or no, just a normal piston, right where that stone block is. Then I would power this piston and push it into an armor stand that would be right here. And that's what does this. It's just the top half of an armor stand. If I destroy this real quick, you'll see... That's all it is. And on Java edition, this guy actually doesn't have arms, I don't believe. Or maybe the picture I saw was just an older update. But these these arms right here weren't there. So it actually looked even better because it was just this little stick dude. But, um, I mean, come on now. that That's cool, right? All right. And that was my uh, my five things that I discovered on Instagram today. And uh, definitely go check out those links and uh, give some love to the people who uh, who actually came up with these designs because, I mean, 
But um, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, like if you want a part two, and um, I'll see you next time. Peace out.